10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, put the ball away. Another set of swings. And all of the power comes from your hips. Next exercise with the ball. Okay, so we're doing one leg raise and roll. So lay on your back, one foot up. Now you're gonna raise your hips up and roll the ball towards your butt and back down. It's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, switch legs, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay, next set of kettlebell swings. Okay, make sure you're keeping your back straight. Okay, last exercise with the ball. Okay, you're gonna put your upper back on the ball, your hands behind your head. Now, raise one leg out, up, and push your hips up. One, keep your balance. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, this was one round. Let's start the second round.
15. Okay, grab the bow. Play on the ball, hands on the ground. And now, reverse hip raise. 15 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. Another set of kettlebell swings. Shake it off a little bit. I can really feel it in this whole area. My butt and hams are getting really tight. Okay, so again, all the power goes from your hips. Keep your abs tight, back straight. Let's do this. Next one. So one leg up on the ball. Lay on your back. And now lift your hips up and roll the ball. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Switch legs. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, three more reps. Eight, nine, and last one. Ten. Okay. Put the ball away. Grab the kettlebell. So, power goes from your hips. Keep your abs tight, back straight. Let's do this. Grab the ball again, and we're doing one leg brace. So your upper back on the ball, hands behind your head, and lift one leg up 
and raise your hips up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep your balance and get your core. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. Nine and ten. Good job. Put the ball back. And we're starting. Third round. How much time left? Two minutes. Okay, we still have time. So let's try to do as much as we can. 15 swings. Grab the ball. Okay. Reverse hip raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. Capable swings. That was fifteen. Grab the ball. Okay. Okay, now we're done. Now we're done. One more thank you guys. I just wanted to show you a stretch for your hamstrings and for your butts. So for your hamstrings, you need something, either chair or some elevated surface where you can put your foot up. And now you're stretching your hamstrings. So bend from your hips, keep your back straight and feel the stretch here for your hams. Now keep the stretch for 30 seconds, then switch legs, do the same thing. And that's good. Now stretch for your butt, sit down on the ground. Now grab your foot and try to bring your foot as close to your chest as you can. Now you're stretching your butt. You can manipulate it, bring it more to the side, bring it more up, and you can feel the stretch in different areas, and you can feel different level of the stretching, so you can regulate it like this. Again, 30 seconds, then switch the legs, another 30 seconds, and then repeat one more time. This workout was super challenging, and it's supposed to be super challenging because, you know, we're working the most, the biggest and the most powerful muscles in our bodies, which is the glutes and the hamstrings. 
Uh, the great thing about working these muscles is you're going to be burning tons of calories, you know, because these muscles will need tons of energy, put these muscles to work and for recovery as well. So um, another thing, it's super important to work your glutes and your hams so that you keep your body um, healthy. You know, you can, if you're going to work your butt and hams, you'll have no back, lower back problems. You're going to have, you're going to keep your knees, hips and ankles healthy, you know, so because a lot of times what happens is that we're not working our butts and this creates muscle imbalances in the body, you know, uh, we're creating knee pains and knee injuries, we're creating lower back pains and all that can come from weak glutes. So I hope you enjoyed this work.